Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Cascade, is it spring? I think it's taking, yeah, it's not quite spring, but almost spring music concert with orchestra and choir. We are so happy to have you all here tonight. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, we are going to open up, as we usually do, with our Cascade Orchestra, and then we're gonna transition into a couple of choirs. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get things started with a Mexican folk song. Uh, this is Silito Lindo. Thank you all very much, I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna have some of the students switch behind me. Uh, something that I think is important that I'm gonna try to integrate a little bit more uh, is making sure that all my students have equal opportunity at first violin, second violin parts to, to make sure that they're all getting a good learning experience from it all. So if you see any switching behind me as I'm up speaking, that's how that's going to go. Uh, I am also going to invite uh, up for us uh, the wonderful and talented Miss Judy Zikafus to help accompany our orchestras and choirs. We are so lucky to have her with us. Uh, this next piece of music is uh, actually a personal favorite of mine. Uh, Eric Satie. Uh, it kind of gets lumped in with the Impressionist uh, composers. Uh, think of Debussy and whatnot. Uh, so this was originally a piano piece uh, that got adapted into uh, a, string, uh, a string setting. Uh, so without any further ado, this is Eric C.T.'s Gymnopody. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you all very much. Something that I failed to mention uh, is that we are joined today as well with a very special guest uh, whom you'll be hearing from next in the night. Uh, tomorrow in the set, or sorry, next in the set order uh, is the Eisenhower Middle School 8th grade choir. Is it all 8th graders or is it mostly 8th grade? All 8th grade? Fantastic. And I, for one, am extremely excited to hear them. It'll be a lot of fun to, to, to hear them. Uh, and I want to make sure that everybody knows that if you want to do music in high school, you can do music in high school. We are able to fit it in with your schedule. If you're doing some running start, if you're doing AP, if you're doing sports, we can get you in music all four years. So if you want friends in high school, stick with music. If you want a community, if you want good grades and all that good stuff, music is the place to be. We have one more piece for you tonight as the orchestra. These are variations on a sea shanty. One of my students had, uh, said, hey, Mr. Sanchez, we need to do a sea shanty in here. And I was like, you know what, that's not a bad idea. So I got a hard one. Uh, and so we are going to be performing for you nautical variations, which is, like I said, a variation on blow ye winds. So you may recognize it a little bit. Thank you all for being here. Here we go. Once again, the Cascade Orchestra. Thank you. 
Thank you all very much. We're going to take the briefest of intermissions to allow us to switch from an orchestral setting into a choral setting. We're just going to move our instruments and gear off stage, and then we're going to be hearing from Eisenhower Middle School. So stay tuned. Talk to yourselves in the meantime.
Abby Blakesley and I'm the choir director at Eisenhower Middle School. I want to thank you so much for having us on your program tonight. We're loving it, having a good time, even if it doesn't look like it. <laughs> um, our, we started off tonight with a wonderful Latin piece called Ubi Caritas, and then we just did one in Swahili called Takadamu, and we'd like to end our portion of the concert with A Patch of Light, accompanied by the fabulous Jacqueline Pearson.
Thank you all very much. That was a Jean Berger piece entitled Sing Dem N. It's a lot of fun doing uh, pieces in other languages, especially when I don't speak those languages very well, because then I get a lesson out of it as well. Uh, so it's a lot of fun walking over to the German teacher's room and being like, hey, can you like record this for me, just speaking this, and then we'll listen to it in class. And it's a, it's a really good, uh, good bunch of fun. Can we hear it one more time for Eisenhower Middle School's uh, eighth grade choir? They're fantastic. I can't tell you how much fun it is having you all here, um, getting to listen to you and all the hard work that you've put in, and then hopefully y'all can enjoy, you know, hearing some of what's in your future sticking around in the choral program. Uh, we are going to next do two pieces 
uh, that are actually uh, folk songs written by Johann Brahms, uh, who's, you know, one of those old great classical composers. Uh, so we're going to feature a couple of people uh, on this first one. We are going to feature Gia up front, and then uh, we're going to have Abby come down as well. Uh, so, Gia, come on down. This first piece is How Sad Flow the Streams. Thank you all. We're going to do one more Brahms piece, a uh, similar sort of format. We're going to have a soloist and then a, a feature of five. We're going to start with Ella up front here. Uh, and then we are going to have, let's see, we're going to have Kieran, Rudy, Haley, and Mai come on down and sing for us as well. This is The Fiddler.
Thank you all very much. We have one more tune for you as concert choir, but before we get into that, something that I think is really uh, quite impressive is that these students, uh, the high school choirs, have been singing in a festival here at the Everett Civic Auditorium. If you're a parent or guardian, I'm sure you probably know a little bit about this, but it's uh, really impressive that they've been able to, either yesterday or today, come here for a long day of choir, sing, get adjudicated, and then come back still sound so awesome, so refreshed. Uh, so it really is a testament to their, their character, their stamina, their ability to, to, you know, just persevere and still, you know, sing awesome music. So thank you to each of you students. Yeah, it's pretty impressive that they're able to do it all. On top of getting straight A's, I'm sure. So we're gonna close off with Concert Choir with a Phyllis White tune. This one's a lot of fun. I always love trying to get in, you know, physical body percussion in some sort of way. Uh, so this is a piece entitled Joy Inside. Thank you all very much. Yes, Symphonic Choir, please stand. Go ahead and hop off backstage. So during this intermission, let's see, Travel Choir, feel free to walk on up now. During this intermission, uh, I wanna say, first of all, 
I have the best job in the world getting to make music with these high school students every day. I love the fact that they you know, are able to persevere, work on hard, challenging music, and overcome it to sound you know, just awesome. I love being able to see that growth. Uh, and getting to make music every day is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, so, with that being said, I have to thank you parents and guardians for getting them here on time, for making sure that you know, they're signing up for music, that they're well behaved, all the good stuff. Uh, so I just wanted to really quickly say a huge thank you to each of you. You deserve it. Uh, let's see. We are going to start for you with our trouble choir, a piece entitled Go Gently Into the Morning. often find that choral music in particular, but of course music in general, has the ability to portray that which music seems, or that which words oftentimes seem to lack the right vocabulary to be able to describe, whether that be emotions or sensations. 
So they can be songs of great joy, but they can also be songs of trepidation or tragedy. Um, and I like to try to fold in you know, a mix of different music into my literature uh, that I present to my students. This next piece is a little bit of a heavier piece. Um, it is called When I Am Silent. Um, at face value, it, you know, simply speaking about the music, it may not come across exactly as the, the message that the, uh, the composer wanted, so I want to propose that right here. Um, at the top of the piece of music, it says, for the girl at Auschwitz. Um, so, with that in mind, I think it's important to, you know, see how music can help us heal, help us tell stories, uh, and I want to be able to share those kinds of stories uh, with my students and with the audience as well. Uh, so with that being said, this is When I Am Silent. This next tune is a tune that I actually remember when I was in middle school. I went to see my high school choirs go and perform, and this is one of the tunes that they actually performed. 
and so ever since then, I fell in love with this particular song, um, and I, I didn't know the name. I had no idea what the name was. And then I was going through the music library at Cascade after I got this job, and I saw it, and I was like, no way, that's the song. Uh, and so I'm super happy that I've been able to bring this song, not only to these students, because I think it's a fun piece of music, but also very selfishly, because I like hearing this piece of music every day when I sing with these folks. Uh, so this is actually a Japanese children's song, kind of like what you might expect to hear on the playground or just sung a bunch uh, amongst a bunch of kids. Uh, but of course, arrangers being who arrangers are, like to put their own twists on things. Uh, so, one more time, this is the Cascade High School Treble Choir singing Hotaru Koi. Thank you all very much. All right, we have one more transition for you. The next group on is going to be the symphonic choir here at Cascade High School. Um, these folks, the treble choir and the concert choir, both had their festival day yesterday, their field trip. Symphonic choir had their field trip today. So they've pretty much spent their whole day here at the Everett Civic Auditorium. Uh, and so with that being said, I don't know, it's just fun to get to hang out with these kids all day, make some good music, uh, and listen to some other good choirs as well. The first song that we are going to be performing for you as a symphonic choir here is actually a German piece. Uh, it is entitled, A Rose Touched by the Sun's Warm Rays. Of course, that is not the proper German title, but I'm not about to try to pronounce the proper German title uh, and make a fool of myself. So with that being said, the Cascade High School Symphonic Choir.
My original plan for y'all was to sing perhaps four pieces of music today. Um, with this symphonic choir, a part of what it is that we do is we also sing uh, at some festivals and competitions and whatnot. Uh, and so we had the privilege of singing at the uh, regional solo and ensemble competition, not only with the symphonic choir as a whole, but also with kind of subgroups, uh, with a treble group and then a bass group. Uh, and with that being said, um, our bass group would have had three members in it, but one of them, our high tenor, uh, injured his leg a little while ago. And so uh, if he's watching, I hope he's healing up uh, just fine. But with that being said, come to the next concert and we'll sing it there. Uh, but these folks are vivace. They are the top treble ensemble here at the school. Uh, they will be singing for you a Kevin Memley piece, one of my personal favorites. Uh, I can't remember which student showed me this, but as soon as I heard it, I was like, okay, no, we gotta do this, it's too good. Uh, and so, whoever that was, thank you for showing me that. Yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought maybe it was, yeah, you yeah, 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 well done, Sierra. All right. So without any further ado, uh, oh, this is another thing I really like, is that you get to see student leadership in these types of groups. Um, and so that's one of my favorite things, is really being able to see students grow while they're here. I only got this job last year, a little over a year ago, um, and even within that small amount of time, uh, I've seen such tremendous growth in these students, not only musically, but as leaders, uh, and as team members, and as individuals. Uh, and so that really is just a special thing. Uh, so. With that being said, silence.
Everybody, we have one more song for you tonight to close out the evening. Uh, but one more time, let's hear it for the Eisenhower Middle School Choir, the eighth grade choir, just fantastic. Another special thanks that I want to give is to our sound man for the day, Andy in the box, everybody. Thank you, Andy. And like I said earlier, I want to thank all of the parents and guardians and teachers and chaperones for all it is that you do. In order for us to make the strongest music program that we can, the music program that most benefits our children and turns them into good citizens and provides them with lifelong memories of positivity, it takes a village. If any of you, yes, if, yeah, if any of you ever want to chaperone, volunteer, become a part of the Booster Club, let me know, email me. We have a very active Bruin Community Parents organization. My goal is to have an orchestra subwing of that and a choir subwing of that. If anybody wants to uh, get involved with that, please let me know. Uh, we are going to sing for you one other tune. This is a piece that if you were here for our winter concert, you may recognize. Uh, but with that being said, I think we've polished it up a little bit and the middle school students haven't heard it yet. And so I wanted to, to, to sing this one, especially for them. Uh, when I was uh, in my undergrad back in Boston, I remembered I discovered uh, Bulgarian choral music, and I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And so I remember thinking to myself, man, if I ever have a really good high school choir, I'm going to make them sing some Bulgarian choral music. And now I have that choir. So. Everybody, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, middle schoolers. Thank you, middle school parents. Thank you, high school parents. Thank you, high schoolers. Everybody, my name is Nick Sanchez. I'm the choral director here. Thank you all for being here. This is Hubaba Milka.
Thank you all very much for being a fantastic audience, everybody. Make sure you clean up after yourselves, drive home safe, and have a fantastic rest of your night. Thank you, everybody.